Welcome to Mobility Learning Center. Uh, today I will present you about Stopimity Part 2. Uh, it is about mass volume problems, volume volume problems. Uh, here there are about learning goals. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to solve mass volume problems and volume volume problems uh, volume volume problem or volume volume relationship or it is also called as volume volume convergence in reactions involving gases the volume of gas can be determined on the principle that one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure ACTP uh, refers to what S stands for standard, T stands for temperature at zero degree Celsius, and P stands for what pressure at one atmospheric pressure. It is also known that 22.4 liter of any gas weighs exactly its molecular mass at standard temperature and pressure. For example, one mole of nitrogen has a volume of at 22.4 liter. One mole of carbon dioxide has a volume of 22.4 liter. One mole of NH3 has a volume of 22.4 liter. Okay. Uh, this volume, 22.4 liter of a gas, is known as the molar volume. At standard temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas has 22.4 liter, which equals to gram volume mass of the gas. For example, if 50 liter of methane at standard temperature and pressure are burning, what volume of carbon dioxide will be produced at standard temperature and pressure? The equation for the composition of methane is CH4 reacted with 2O2 to produce 2H2O plus CO2. Solution. Uh, uh, students will follow the following steps. First, write the balanced chemical equation. CH4 burned with oxygen to give H2O plus carbon dioxide balanced as CH4 plus 2O2 give us 2H2O plus CO2. Second, identify the given and required. Okay, this is the equation. If 50 liter of methane, if 50 liter of methane gas is, if 50 liter of methane gas uh, at standard temperature are burned, you have given volume of methane gas is 50 liter. What volume of carbon dioxide? This is the formula of carbon dioxide. How many liters of carbon dioxide will be produced at standard temperature and pressure? Okay, we identify the given. It is 50 liter of methane and the required x liter of carbon dioxide. Volume from the balanced chemical equation. That means the volume of the given CH4 and the volume of carbon dioxide from the balanced chemical equation. That means the coefficient of CH4 and carbon dioxide. Okay, you have one times 22.4 liter of methane gas reacted with one times 22.4 liter carbon dioxide. The proportion is one to one ratio. Then 50 liter divided by, okay. Uh, Okay, this is the equation. Uh, if 50 liter of methane at standard temperature are burned, what volume of carbon dioxide will be produced at standard temperature and pressure? You have to follow the following step. The first step is write the balanced chemical equation. CH4 
reacted with O2 to produce H2O and carbon dioxide balanced as one, the coefficient of CH4 to O2 give us two H2O plus carbon dioxide. Then identify the given and required. What are the given values? You have 50 liter of methane gas, write 50 liter as the top of the formula of methane. What volume of carbon dioxide represented by what X written at the top of the formula of what carbon dioxide? Volume from the balanced chemical equation. Uh, that means the coefficient of uh, CH4 or methane is one multiplied by 24, 22.4 liter. And the coefficient of carbon dioxide also is one. Multiply, uh, one multiplied by what you to point four liter. Then the volume ratio gives us what? 50 liter divided by one times you to point four liter, which equals to X uh, divided by one times you to point four liter. And then crisscross, crisscross this 50 liter multiplied by one times you to point four liter divided by what? Uh, one times you to point four liter. This implies X is equal to what 50 liter of carbon dioxide will be produced. The next uh, is the mass volume conversion or mass volume relationship or also called what mass volume problems. Either the mass of one substance is given and the volume of the other is required or the volume of one substance is given and the mass of the other one is required. Example, the reaction was carried out between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid to produce calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. What would be the volume of carbon dioxide at, step, at STP produced from the complete re reaction of 10 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay, this is the mass volume or volume mass problem. Okay, you are asked to find the volume of carbon dioxide. You have the given mass of what carbon di uh, calcium carbonate. Okay, solution you can use the following methods. Method one convert the mass of calcium carbonate to moles to calculate the volume in liter, okay? Convert the given mass of calcium carbonate, which is 10 liter, into what? More. Then calculate the volume in liter. How can we do that? Okay, let's, let's see. Determine the, mole, the moles of calcium carbonate reacted. First, number of moles equal to given mass divided by molar mass. The number of moles of calcium carbonate equals to the given mass of calcium carbonate, which is 10 gram, divided by the molar mass of calcium carbonate in pH. The atomic mass of calcium is 40. The atomic mass of carbon is 12. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Therefore, the molar mass of calcium carbonate is the sum of the mass of calcium, carbon, and oxygen in calcium carbonate, OK? which is uh, 100, uh, which equals to 0 0.1 uh, more, which equals to 0 0.1 more. Uh, then calculate the volume. How can we calculate the volume? How can we calculate the volume? You have 0 0.1 more, which is used as a given mole of calcium carbonate, and you are ask to find the volume in liter of car carbon dioxide, okay? We should mark or put X. Then from the balanced chemical equation, you have to find out the mole of calcium carbonate and the volume of carbon dioxide because mole ratio means mole over mole, volume ratio means volume over volume, okay? Therefore, the coefficient of calcium carbonate is one mole, the coefficient of carbon dioxide is one, which is one mole, which is multiplied by 22.4 liter. 
0.1 mol divided by 1 mol, which equals to x in liter divided by 1 times unit 0.4 liter, and then crisscross. When you crisscross this 0.1 mol multiplied by unit 0.4 liter divided by 1 mol, which equals to 2 times 2.24 liter of carbon dioxide will be produced from 10 gram of calcium carbonate. Or you can use, uh, you can convert the mass of calcium carbonate to moles to calculate the volume in liter, just as you have 0 0.1 mole calcium carbonate, one mole of, and then calculate the number of moles of what uh, carbon dioxide, okay? From 0 0.1 mole. 0 0.1 mole is the number of moles of calcium carbonate which is calculated as uh, we have seen before, okay? 10 gram divided by 100, which equals 0 0.1 mole, then calculate the mole of the unknown, the mole of the unknown means the mole of carbon dioxide, and then convert this mole into what volume, okay? 0 0.1 mole divided by 1 mole equals to x in mole divided by 1 mole, x gives 0 0.1 mole of carbon dioxide is produced one mole of any gas, that means one mole of carbon dioxide, according to our example, will produce 22.4 liter of carbon dioxide and 0 0.1 mole carbon dioxide will produce X liter of carbon dioxide and X gives 2.4 liter of CO2, okay? Uh, the second method, calculate the volume of carbon dioxide in liter directly by using the given mass of uh, calcium carbonate. The given mass of calcium carbonate is 10 gram. The given mass of calcium carbonate is 10 gram. 10 gram. And the mass of calcium carbonate from the balanced chemical fusion is 100 uh, gram. Okay, 100 gram. And the volume required represented by what? The letter X, X in liter, and the volume of carbon dioxide from the balanced chemical fusion is one times unit 0.4 liter. Mass ratio, volume ratio, okay? 10 gram over 100 gram, which equals to X in liter divided by one times unit 0.4 liter. This gives X equal to 10 gram multiplied by unit 0.4 liter, divided by 100 gram. This gram is cancelled by gram, which equals to 2.424 liters of carbon dioxide will be produced. This is the second method. Okay. Uh, this is exercise uh, for you. Uh, this is enough all, uh, this is enough, uh, all about uh, volume, volume, and mass volume problems. In uh, volume volume problems, the volume of one of the substance, the gas is given, the volume of another substance is required. If the mass of another substance is given, the volume of another uh, one is what required in mass volume problem. Or if the volume of the gas is given, the mass of another uh, substance is what required. Okay, uh, this is enough all about what the mass volume uh, and volume volume relationship. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye bye.